exciting! Yes, you do! Wow, you just kind of negated a lot of what I was about to say. Um, I'm so excited to be here. First of all, I love this human very much, so much that I'm standing on this boulevard public speaking, which is a big phobia of mine. Which is mine too. odd, right? All of ours. Considering what we do, that's a strange thing. But anyway, um, Jason and I have known each other since we were, I was a child. Um, well, technically, I've known him since he was a child, because he was on my television all the time when I was growing up. So he didn't really know me until I was 25, I think. Um, but before that, I just got to show you guys some cute things. I mean, you remember this little guy? This little guy? Right? And then, and then, wait, wait, wait. Then there was this cutie. Come on. This guy? And then, wait, wait, wait. Gets better. Gets better. And then, wait, I had that one. Oh, and then this little Muppet. I mean, once you've made it on the cover of Muppet Magazine, I mean, haven't you done it all? Who needs a star? Huh? Who, needs, Who a star? needs a star? Anyway, one thing has proven itself to be true, and that is that having longevity in this business is not easy, especially starting out as a child actor. Usually that's a story that doesn't always end well. Um, and when I actually met Jason, it, it was kind of looking like it could go either way, you know? <laughs> he, was, uh, he was working on this show with my best friend, Drea, um, and it was called Simon. They, you can Google that one, because I don't think he mentioned that. Um, yeah. Uh, and she just wouldn't stop talking about Jason. And I was like, oh yeah, I know that guy. Wasn't that the, the bully on Silver Spoons? The, uh, or, or the guy from Teen Wolf, the second one? Not the, not the Michael J. Fox one? What? Also not mentioned. Also not mentioned. See, see that? And then, the, hey, shut up! What'd he say? Teen Wolf 2, baby! And then I was like, oh yeah, and that kid from, from Little House on the Prairie. Weren't you blind in that? Didn't you go blind or something? That was the older brother and sister. Oh, the older brother and sister. Okay. Anyway, so the next thing I know, Dre invites him on our ski trip. Now, that's when I realized, don't let this innocent face fool you. So. Oh no, Wait, let me look through this. Where no, 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 no. Shush, shush, shush. So, sorry. Okay, here's my first impression of Jason Bateman. Picture this. Okay, it's New Year's Eve. It's just after midnight. There is a blizzard outside. And I hear someone yell, help, someone, help. Jason, car, could die. We all are just like, what? So we run outside to help him. And what we see is we have two feet of snow. Jason is in a truck, fishtailing the wrong way down a one-way street hanging with the door wide open, hanging halfway out of the car, and his foot was out, like trying to stop the car, kind of like Fred Flintstone style or something. We're actually still not sure what you were doing, and I think it's still unclear. A little foggy, right? You don't remember? Oh, okay. Um, anyway, but thankfully, uh, thankfully he outgrew those days of, of being overserved and terrifying people. And uh, then enter Amanda. Anka. <laughs> Who I believe is, was a very big part of this man's evolution and gave him the incentive to stop driving the wrong way down icy streets, both literally and figuratively. And Jason, he's had nine lives, spanning from childhood actor to today, defying all odds with a thriving film and TV career as an actor, producer, and director, triple threat. He is a fully realized storyteller with staying power. I'm honestly shocked it's taken this long for you to get a slab of marble on this pavement. Um, anyway, 
One of the, well, well, hold on, I lost my place. There I am. And I have been lucky enough to work with him many, 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 many times. He's a fantastic partner in crime, the most generous straight man who makes the world laugh and then can make you cry on a dime. And I have, oh, and he is a vicious negotiator. A vicious. I have been in the room and I've witnessed this. Do not poke that bear. <laughs> and if you are lucky enough to have seen the gift, you can also know that he will scare the crap out of you. Again, don't let that innocent face fool you. Um, but the part that I'm really the luckiest that I get to witness as his friend is Jason Bateman, the husband, the fantastic father, the dear friend, and as we lovingly call him, Grandpa. He always manages to come to our house, find the clicker, plop himself on the couch, and get his beloved Dodgers up on that TV screen as fast as humanly possible. I mean, it's like, is he young? Is he old? He looks 12. He acts 100. His head, a head of hair that even women envy. But, you know, he works hard. He's tired. But even in his most restful state, he is one of the most, the loveliest men to be around. He always gives you deep connection, full attention, authenticity, and some of the deepest belly laughs that I can remember. And this will probably be the one and only time that you're gonna let people walk all over you. <laughs> we are so very proud of you, and I'm so honored to be here on this day with you. We love you. I have to take my props away, though. <laughs> you wanna keep those? I'm gonna give those to your children. <laughs>